One of the moments that we and others made fun of yesterday was her attempt to answer the question about, okay, you want to make housing easier for people. You want to create mm-hmm. more housing. But how are you going to cut through all the red tape? That was the question. How are you going to cut through all the red tape that stands in the way? And she meandered on red tape into nonsense about holistic this, holistic that, and left us all just feeling utterly confused. Here's a reminder. How does the federal government cut through all that red tape and get down to, I don't know, the suburbs of Pittsburgh yeah. and say, we're going to have to build some affordable housing here. Part of my goal and the plan would be to create 3 million new housing units for rent and, and for ownership by the end of my first term. It includes also what we must do to cut red tape. You're absolutely right. It's- I know that we have to reduce the red tape and speed up what we need to do around building. Some How? of the work is going to be through what we do in terms of giving benefits and assistance to state and local governments around transit dollars and looking holistically at the connection between that and housing and looking holistically at the incentives we in the federal government can create for local and state governments to actually engage in planning in a holistic manner that includes prioritizing affordable housing for working people. Okay, she said absolutely nothing. And can I tell you something? When I watch, I know, Jesse's laughing. He's laughing. His head is in his hand. I, oh. When I first saw this, I, I'm like, she, ha- she knows nothing. Obviously, she knows nothing about her, quote, plan. And I thought, you know, it's a good question by Stephanie Rule. I, that, that is a problem with the red tape and all that. You know what? I went back. Kamala Harris had given remarks earlier in the day about her big economic plan. It's from that. It's, it was Kamala Harris who raised the red tape problem. <laughs> oh, listen, this is her earlier that same day. Listen. We will cut the red tape that stops homes from being built. As president, if things are not moving quickly, I will demand to know why, and I will act. I will work with Congress, workers and businesses, cities and states, community groups and local leaders to reform permitting, to cut red tape and get things moving faster. There she is, red tape. She raised it. Stephanie Rule was basically saying, you said red tape. How? She said nothing. Nothing. Megan, I have to be honest. You know, I have a sixth sense of humor. Part of me, a very, very, very tiny part, tiny part of me wants her to get elected for four years just so I can watch your head pop off in frustration for four <laughs> years because yes. a detailed person like you who's all about your know, details and research, you always know more than the person you're interviewing. It would drive, it's going to drive you insane. It's gonna, you're going to lose your mind in four years of watching right this person. But, but, well, no, I can tell. It's wonderful. Uh, I, th- I think it's hilarious, <laughs> I should note. But it's just, well, she doesn't know. Let, let me explain it this way. She's 59 going on 13. Has anyone ever known or watched a movie about or a documentary about a professional athlete who's a complete and utter moron? I'm not saying all professional athletes are that way. A lot of them are very smart, accomplished people. But everyone has everyone knows a guy. You immediately pictured a guy. He's just an idiot. He's 30, 40 years old, a millionaire. He's a moron. He can't talk. He can't. Well, why is he that way? Because he never had to learn anything in his entire life. Whatever his upbringing was, sports programs, always a superstar, got through college. And soon you can find yourself as an adult male and you can't write out a sentence. You can't speak in any any complete form. You sound like an idiot. That's Kamala Harris in a more extreme form. She's 59 going on 13. She's never, she doesn't know anything about anything. It's not that she doesn't know anything about housing, Megan, or, or red tape or the border. Or, or She doesn't know anything about anything because she's never had to know anything about anything. She got her start in politics. We don't have to cover the, all that again. But by be, being a, uh, a companion to Willie Brown, he gave companion. her her start. And since then, in California, if you talk to anyone in California, <laughs> Megan, quit. Since then, in California. <laughs> it's Friday. It is Friday. But in California, if you talk to people who know there, every office she ran for, it didn't matter what it was, AG, senator, she was treated with the ultimate kid gloves in the media because she is the identity politics candidate. She's a woman. She's a minority. She's a far lefty. I mean, if you could build one for these people, you'd build her. Double minority. She's never had to answer tough questions. 
doesn't know anything about anything. I had Jeffrey Clark, former U.S. Attorney Jeffrey Clark, on my show. He dug into it. This is one of those research nerds like you, Megan. She mm -hmm. never tried a case. He couldn't find an example of one case, even as AG, as DA. She was never lead counsel on a case. She doesn't know anything. She's 59 going on 13. She knows nothing about anything. I saw that Twitter thread. It was amazing. I'm going to have to listen to that show, Jesse. That's a, that's a good one. Um, you don't find her inspirational because, <laughs> because that's another lane she's trying to fill. Uh, this was from uh, her speech to the Economic Club of Pittsburgh just the other day. Been dying to get this on. Sada Levin. We need to guard that spirit. We have to guard that spirit. Let it always inspire us. Let it always be the source of our optimism, which is that spirit that is so uniquely American. And let that then inspire us oh, by God. helping us to be inspired to solve <laughs> the problems that so many face, including our small business owners. Oh. No? Nope. <laughs> You see what I mean? That You know what that is, Megan? That's the 13-year-old girl on Instagram putting up some inspirational quote that her girlfriend yes. shared with her. Live, laugh, love. Like <laughs> She's 59, and that's how she talks. She doesn't, she doesn't. And it tells you, honestly, it also tells you who her staffers are. Look, I, you, I'm sure you're not exactly a huge fan, nor am I, of somebody like Obama or Hillary Clinton or someone like that. But no. someone like Obama or Hillary Clinton... Yeah, they'd be dirty commies, but they would have around them a policy person who would have policies I disagree with, but they would have specifics. There would be a laundry list of specific things. We're going to do this, this, and this. Kamala Harris has such bad staff turnover. This has been something that's been talked about a lot for the last three years. She's so horrible to work for. Everyone walks in and they turn around and walk right out the door that she doesn't even have a brain around her so i mean these speeches are prepared megan it's not like that idiot is speaking off the cuff like you do every day these are prepared someone sat down and wrote wrote that on purpose oh and and then uh, they rehearsed it and after they rehearsed it they look in the mirror and said yeah nailed it that, that's nailed what it. people think <laughs> inspire with the inspiration that inspires us that's my plan to turn this economy <laughs> around that's how i'm going to do it and also to pursue dreams aspirations and inspirations too all of it and ambitions ambitions <laughs> aspirations and dreams and inspirations and they'll inspire you that's holistically Harris's plan holistically exactly oh. right do you owe back taxes are your tax returns still unfiled did you forget to file for an extension the October 15th deadline is fast approaching and time is running out. If you have not gathered all of your documents or made any estimated payments, you could soon be targeted by the IRS. After October 15th, the IRS can garnish your wages, freeze your bank accounts, or even seize your property. Oh, joy. But there's help. Don't panic. Tax Network USA, a nationwide tax firm, has helped taxpayers save more than $1 billion in tax debt. They have filed over 10,000 tax returns and assisted thousands in reducing their tax burdens, and they can help you too. Don't wait. Visit TNUSA.com slash Megan or call 1-800-958-1000 for a free consultation. They will guide you through a few simple questions to determine how much you can save. Take action now before it's too late. Visit TNUSA.com slash Megan or call 1-800-958-1000. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you just saw, hit the subscribe button for more clips and full episodes.